Well, clear conditions out there this morning, but cold. If you're headed out, you want the gloves, you want the hat, maybe even an extra coat or layer because it is going to stay cold throughout the day. On the satellite and radar, that storm system that brought us all the snow yesterday has pushed on out, making way for clear skies, and that helped temperatures drop overnight, and they are going to stay cold throughout the day. We're seeing a little bit of patchy fog up through Fort Collinsboro, where we're seeing some limited visibility. We could continue to see patchy fog through the morning till about 9 a.m., and then we'll start to see that burn off. Currently 10 below at the airport, 1 at downtown Denver. When you factor in what it feels like, negative 10 out there, so very cold. Our weather watcher Paul Kaplan reporting 15 below northwest of Gunnison this morning. Here's the wind chill values, 23 below in Fort Collins, that's what it feels like, 20 below in Vail as well as Aspen and Leadville. Out on the Eastern Plains, 17 below in Lyman and down to the south, 5 below in Pueblo. We do have a wind chill advisory for most of the Eastern Plains. Exposed skin, you could see frostbite in just as little as 30 minutes. Over the next 12 hours, we're never going to get above freezing. The bitter cold temperatures stick around all day long, even though the sunshine will return. So today Today will be in the teens overnight tonight. We'll see freezing temperatures below zero once again, 10 below in Greeley, one below in Fort Collins overnight, 17 below in Steamboat. To put the future cast into motion, we will stay dry throughout the day today and more sunshine returns tomorrow. We'll finally get above freezing tomorrow and then a more mild and dry weekend is in store on Saturday, 41 degrees. Probably start to see some of this ice and snow melt.